Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 9 of the Let's Play series. In the last episode, we built up this awesome blacksmith, with a very fancy cow to be named this episode, and our new blacksmith contains our super efficient auto smelter. But in today's episode, we're going to be working on something a little bit different to normal. I put up a community poll for you guys to vote on what we do this episode, and you guys finally voted for some farmland. Now, if we head out the castle this way, I'm sure you all know we've got a little bit of farmland up here, just outside the mining entrance. Yeah, here we are. This is where we take fantastic care of our cows here. Very good care. I won't have anyone in the comments saying anything else. Oh, God. Ah. But yeah, like I said, we've got our farmland here, which is great, but we don't really have too much room to expand. So I think we can have a path from the castle up there that leads down here, past the first ever cave we went in, and we come through here into these plains. And this is going to give us way more space for some farmland. Oh, yeah, we've also got a village down there as well. That's cool. So I think this should give us a nice amount of space to work with. As you can see, it's not too far from the castle there. We'll probably start with filling in these big holes. Then I guess we can start planning out where some fields are going to go. And then once we've done that, we can start planning out where the buildings are going to go as well. I think I definitely want to get a couple of houses in there. And then probably a windmill and maybe a granary as well. We'll see how we get on today though. But yeah, I'm going to go grab some resources so that we can actually get started. So I thought I'd throw together a little montage of me getting all the resources. This has taken a little longer than I thought it would. Because for today's project, we're going to need a lot of blocks. And that's because I'm hoping to achieve quite a lot in today's episode. Today might actually be the most amount of progress we've ever made. So that's why over a couple of days, I thought I'd spend the time and try to get everything that we're going to need. Well, I hope so, at least anyway. But yeah, let's start planning. So I've grabbed a bunch of the stuff that we're going to need to plan out these fields. And I think we're going to take Tesco over there. Come on, Tesco, let's go. And I think we'll start planning around this area. So let's make Tesco a little hole. There you go, buddy. You stay there for now. And I think just like we did the other field up there, we're going to do like a stone wall around the edge. So I'm just going to start randomly placing these uh, stone variants here in some sort of rough circular shape. Good start. All right, here's our rough shape for one field. What I think we're going to do is just work on this one for now so we can figure out all the details and how we want them to look. That way, when we come to make other ones, we're going to know exactly what to do. I think today I at least want to maybe get four fields planted. It'd be cool to fill up this area just around here for now. But yeah, let's pop down and actually build up the wall. Alright, so here's our built up wall. I think this is looking pretty good. I think we've got a good size here. I think the next thing we've got to do now is a bit of terraforming. Obviously, we've got to fill in these holes here. And we need to get rid of all the grass, all the sunflowers. And then we want to try and smooth out the terrain a little bit as well. So I need to sort out this big inventory mess. Probably bring a few chests over to this area. And then we can start working on that. Hopefully these guys stay away from us. Fingers crossed. I'll be right back. Okay then, so I've got some dirt. I'm going to fill in these holes here. Okay, that's that one done. I think I'm going to fill in this little bit here as well. There we go. This bit's nice and flat now. I think maybe we bring this layer back a little bit. And then maybe this one forward a little bit. Awesome, there we go. That's got a nice flow to it now. The next thing you got to do is clear away all of this grass and all of these sunflowers too. I want to get a nice clean area to work with. Then once we've done this, I think I'm going to start adding a few of the details. I think I want to get some sort of like rocks in here and maybe some quick to build custom trees as well. I think it'll be a lot easier to get all the details in before we start planting the farmland. That way we know exactly what we're going to be working with. All right, here's a nice clean slate to work with now. So I'm going to grab some of these saplings, some of this bone meal. And I'm going to show you a little trick how to grow a big oak tree. So let's say we want one in the middle right here. I'm going to plant that there. Then one block away, I'm going to build up four blocks, I think. And then place torches on the side facing the sapling. And hopefully we should be able to grow this up into a big tree. There we go. And now we can just take this down. And we forced a big tree to grow there. That's awesome. I think we'll maybe do another two. So I think we'll put one here. So build up four torches, bone meal. Please grow. Please. Bruh. <laughs> All right, we'll drop this one down. We'll try again, I guess. Luckily, I've got more bones here. Right, while the leaves are decaying there, we'll just try one here as well. I'm going to build up five this time, I think. All right, come on then. Big tree. Okay, maybe this trick doesn't work anymore. Okay, we got a big tree that time. Let's go. Let's clear these leaves out of the way. And another big tree there. Okay, there we go. Right, maybe it doesn't work every time, but it does work sometimes. You can give me that. If you guys do know of a better way of growing the big spruce trees, do let me know in the comments. Right, next up, I think I want to try and make these a bit more custom. So I'm going to grab some of this oak wood. 
and some of this spruce too. We'll make a few fences and a few slabs and some trapdoors. Okay, more trapdoors. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to build up the base of these trees a little bit. Maybe just something like that. You know what? I want spruce stairs too. And then on top of these, I'm going to place... I'm going to place some sprucey bits on top of these. Yeah, that looks nice. And maybe where we got like bits like this, we can put some fences like that. And then we can hang some lanterns down just there. That'd be cool. Yeah, slab at the bottom there. That kind of acts like roots, I guess. Yeah, just like that. That's cool. I mean, that's taken all in all about two minutes and it looks like a little custom tree. I really like that. I think we're going to do the same with these trees over here as well, though. So again, we'll just thicken up the base of the tree just to get a shape that you're happy with. I think I'm going to put another one there. There we go. That's cool. And then just add the little bits of extra detail with your spruce variants. And there we go, another quick custom tree. That's looking really nice. Right, just this last smaller one to do here. We won't go too crazy with the shape on this one. All right, there we go. I think that's looking all right. I think this one's my favorite, though. I guess you kind of got to have a bit of luck with the tree that you get to decorate. But yeah, I think all of these are looking nice. Right, next up, let's grab a bit of this stone. I think we're just going to use our natural stone here, so just to smoothen the cobble and make a few more slabs out of these. And just in a few random spots, I think I'm going to build a few sort of boulders, I guess. I mean, I don't really know what the theory is behind it, but they should look good at least. Just little details to break up the farmland, I think. I think we'll maybe only do about two of these. All right, so there's one there, and I think we'll just put one over here as well. All right, there we go. That looks cool. I think let's take a pillar up here and take a look at what we've got. All right, this is looking great. It's looking almost ready for some farmland. I think the last thing I want to do is run a sort of dirt path throughout the field. I need something really sort of thin and narrow, though. But oh, we've uncovered a hole. All right, so something that winds around this tree here... And then maybe we could have some sort of like worker shack, maybe where they're storing their grain or something. Right, we'll just do something super, super simple here. So I think we'll have fences like this, maybe fill in this little gap here as well. And on the top, I'm just going to fill it with these trapdoors and slabs. Just something that's kind of broken down. And I think we'll make this whatever the path's going to be as well in here. All right, all right. I think we need to fill in the path now. I think I'm going to go probably coarse dirt. I think that'd be a good fit and a contrast to the farmland that we're going to put in. But I do need to quickly pop back to the castle and grab that though. So I'll be right back. Okay, coarse dirt acquired. It's time to fill in this path now. All right, there we go. That's looking good. I just want a couple of trapdoors there. And then just in here, I'm going to place a composter and just a couple of barrels. It's not really going to serve too much of a purpose. I'm going to put a water source behind here though. Maybe we'll store a few bits in these barrels, I'm not sure. But now it's time to actually get these crop fields planted. I think in this one, I'm going to do potatoes on this side, maybe carrots on this one. So yeah, we're going to kick it into another time lapse while I get these fields planted. Let's go. All right, all right, so here's the first finished field. I think this is looking so, so nice. You might notice that I've got a texture pack on at the moment. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It definitely fits the vanilla field, but it's just adding so, so much to this area. I was toying with the idea of whether to use it or not, but I definitely think we will. I think I'm just really in love with the pop of colour that it gives. And obviously when we've got more of these fields around, it's just going to look so, so good. But before we do new fields, I think I want to start working on a building. I need a little break from planting carrots and potatoes. But yeah, I think we need to stick with the same sort of style we have over in our castle area. But just to mix things up a bit, I think we're going to be working with a different palette. So we're going to be using, of all things, we're going to be using dirt, coarse dirt, granite, and then also some spruce as well. I think this will be a good, good fit for our area. Kind of a bit more dirty. Obviously, this is going to be a bit more of like a worker's area. And yeah, I just think it will fit the vibe a little bit better. So I was kind of thinking maybe this area here would be a good spot for a building. I don't want to get anything like too big. Clear out a little bit of space here. So maybe go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there we go. Like a seven by five area should be pretty good. We'll have it like attached to this wall here. So I think we'll make all of this wall three blocks high. Awesome, just like that. And then we're going to do our roof shape at the top, just like normal. So we'll come up here. Yeah, so I'll shape just like that, and we'll do the same on this side as well. Just going to keep this super, super simple, I think. And this is where the dirt's going to come in. So what we're going to do is put like a coarse dirt in here, and then we'll transition from the coarse dirt to the granite, just with some normal dirt. Just like that. And we'll do that in a few spots, I think. Just like there as well. We'll do another one over this side. And one round the back as well. Please leave me alone. Hopefully they'll stay away. <laughs> anyway, I think we'll chuck a door in here and a window there. But I wonder if we could have a window in here. Eh. Yes, we could. We can knock this little bit out here. I think we use fences as windows. Like that. And we'll place a spruce door. There we go. Right, let's head up again and we'll fill out the roof. I think this time we're going to make the roof out of spruce. 
We're going to add like a little interesting shape to the front of it, I think. Going to try and make a little window. Right, let's take a little look at that. Yeah, there we go. A nice little window opening there. That's quite nice. I think I'll fill in the rest of the roof and we'll do that same window shape on the other side. All right, there's our roof design in. That's looking super nice. I've just noticed that's turned to grass. That's no good. All right, we'll switch that up with course dirt. There we go. Awesome. That's looking really, really cute. I like that. I think what we can do is bring these slabs across here and then we'll bring this across just like that. Awesome. Now just a couple of fences to hold it up. I think I've got some hay bales at the castle, so I'll go get those later and put them under there. I think another thing we can do here is add maybe like a little farm area out the front. And I've got quite a few carrots left, so we'll just plant these. Right, a few fences there, and then we'll just extend this path out a little bit around to the house. Awesome, there we go. That looks really cool. Hello, bee. I really need to start getting on some bee stuff soon. I never worked with them before, so that would be exciting. But anyway, got a few hay bales under there. That's looking nice. A little splash of colour. And I've got a few lanterns to check around as well, so we'll just put one there. And maybe one here. Nice. And there's a spot in this tree over here where I wanted to add one before. Right, there it is. I've got a chain as well. Perfect. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that a lot. Awesome. I think I can call that feel pretty much done now. I really like the palette of this building as well. Definitely need to add a few more of these when we get our fields going. So I think the time's come now to start planning out more of these fields and buildings. I want to get a good area of this planned out so I can make some big, big progress. All right, so I've got a bunch of cobblestone. I think what we're going to do is plan out some of these fields together and also where the buildings are going to go as well. So I think to plan out path, we're going to use some of this course there. And I want this to wind just through this way towards the castle. Just through here, just past Tesco. Right, so that'll run through there. That's nice. I think what we'll do, we'll have another field just here next to the house. And that'll run alongside this path. And we'll quickly fill in this hole. Right, so alongside the path. And at this point, I think we'll start coming back around. Right, so I'll come down here and then run along the side of this hill. And then connect back up there. Okay, okay, I like that. And I think we'll have another building here. Yeah, so we have a building the same size as that one just here. Connected to this field. And I guess the path could also come up this way next to this field here. Just like that. And then in this gap here, we could have another field. Yeah, I think that'll look really cool. But I want to make sure we keep this wide enough so we can fit a nice wide path in here. We want to make sure that we can ride Tesco through. Right, so we'll start coming around here now. I think this one will need a bit of terraforming, but that's all right. We'll bring it maybe up to here and then back around. Yeah, so we'll start coming down here, I think. Perfect. There we go. I hope this is making sense to you guys. So we've got two fields there. I think we put another building over this side. Yeah, and I think we'll have this building inside of the field. All right, so that's a nice path. A couple extra building, a couple extra fields. I think that's enough for me to get working on now. I think now you guys obviously have an idea of how I'm going to build the field. So I think I'll just do this quickly. We'll probably do this in the form of a time lapse. And then once that's over, I'll give you a little walkthrough and we'll talk about what I've done. All right then, let's go. All right, guys, so here's what I've done. You can see I built another little cute cottage here. I think it's looking pretty nice. Kind of varied the shape to the first one that we did. But yeah, I'm happy with how this one's come out. It looks really cute. No interior yet, but we can walk through here into this wheat field that I also made. This one's also looking cool. But we can keep walking down here where we've got a field of carrots. This one's looking super pretty with the texture pack. And also at the end, we've got a nice ruined house here. I thought I'd mix it up with the buildings. I think it kind of gives a little bit of history to the area. Maybe someone in the comments can come up with some cool lore for that. But yeah, if we keep coming down here, this leads to the first field that we did just here. I still think this one's my favourite though. Honestly, though, this gets me excited to make more of these fields. But yeah, if we keep following the path up this way, you see it leads up to a little hill here. And I'm thinking up here would be a pretty good spot for a windmill. I think that would fit this area super nicely. But before we do that, we've got to head back to the castle because I think we've got a cow to name. Right, so let's hop on Tesco here and I'll see you back at the castle. Right, now last episode, I asked you to leave your name suggestions in the comments for our new blacksmith cow. And if we come in here, we should have a name tag. There we go. 
and the most liked comment with a name suggestion was from Sanford John, and their name suggestion was Minotaur. Right, so let's head down to the blacksmith and we can give him his name. Welcome, Minotaur. There we go. Now get back to work. Right, now with that done, I say let's get back on Tesco and we'll head over back to the farmland just up there. Right, you wait there, Tesco. I love walking down here so much. It's got such a nice atmosphere now. Like I said before, I can't wait to keep expanding on this area. And that's what we're going to do now. Let's build this windmill. Okay guys, so here's the finished windmill. I'm really happy how this one's come out. I really like the calcite for the blades of the windmill. I think that looks really cool. I think one thing I struggled with building this was keeping everything to the right scale. Because of course looking at these buildings here, it's on quite a small scale. But I think it's okay. I think I was a bit worried it looked a little bit too big. But yeah, I'm definitely pleased with the end result, I think. I really like as you come into this area, you can sort of see it poking over the tree. And then as you come around here, it sort of gets revealed to you. I really, really like that. But yeah, there's the finished windmill. Right, now there's one last thing that we've got to do today, and that involves heading back to the castle once again. So let's hop on Tesco again, and I'll see you back at the castle. Right, we need to head down into the dungeon here, and we need to once more, for the first time since episode 2, head into the wardrobe. There we go, let's step out of here. Yep, I'm in the Rambo skin, and that's because for the month of February, I'm going to be joining a hardcore SMP. And that's called the One Shot SMP. This is going to be a one month long event running through February. And yeah, I'm going to be making some videos on it. And not only that, I'm also going to be doing some live streams over on my Twitch channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description for you. But yeah, I'm so excited to start on One Shot. There's a whole bunch of awesome content creators playing as well. I'll put this little poster up for you so you can take a look at who they are. Feel free to pause the video. But yeah, like I said, this is going to be starting on the 1st of February, which is actually tomorrow for me. And I'm going to be streaming the launch over on my Twitch channel at 6 o'clock BST on the 1st of February. So if you want to see that, make sure to follow me on Twitch with the notifications on. Or alternatively, you can join the community Discord where I'll let you know that I'm going live. But yeah, you can definitely expect some videos for the One Shot SMP coming up on this channel. But because of that, I think the Let's Play content will slow down a little bit. I'll try to get videos out as much as I can from this world. But yeah, just for four weeks, we're going to be concentrating on the one-shot SMP. That's also assuming that I actually survive the entire month. We could actually die on day one and we'll have about a five-minute video. I seriously hope not. But yeah, guys, I hope you're all as excited as I am for that. But yeah, that's all I've got time for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And i catch you in the next one. Cheers!